All right, welcome. Today we're going to be taking apart a Lenovo IdeaPad 720S-13 IKB. So this is a 13.3 inch uh, Lenovo laptop. And to start out, we're going to need a small uh, Torx bit. This is a 5, a T5, or a T5.5 will work. So we'll go ahead and flip it over, and then we're going to need to remove all of the screws in the bottom case. Alright, once you have those bottom screws out, you're just going to simply grab the little back, uh, little back part of the bottom case and just lift up until it pops off. Just like that. Doesn't once you have the screws out, there's only real, real light catches there, so um, you should be able to just lift it up and off without really any struggle. All right, so we can see the inside of the laptop now, and we're gonna switch our bit to a 2.0, and this should allow us to take apart the rest of the laptop. So the first thing we're gonna take out is the battery, and it looks like it's just a few Phillips screws, and then this type of connector um, will just kind of slide out. So we'll go ahead and remove those battery screws. All right, so we've got the battery loose, and it's nice. Um, it don't give you a whole lot of room to try to pull out that connector, so in this case, you can just pull the battery gently, and it'll pull that connector out of the motherboard. Um, batteries are generally the only thing that you can really get away with that, um, because the, uh, the connections are big and they're solid, and it's not gonna kind of rip the connector out when you do it. But as far as any of this other stuff, you definitely don't want to pull on the cables. It's only the battery since they're kind of beefy. Um, so that's how you remove the battery. All right, so we'll move on to the SSD slot. So it looks like they've used a decent amount of tape to cover it. So you'll just want to peel that back or off and then you can remove that screw for the SSD drive. And then once you have this screw out, you're gonna to wanna to take a fingernail and just kinda of lift it up a little bit. And then that'll give you the clearance to just kinda of wiggle that out of the connector. Um, you do need to lift up on this end because there's a bunch of little transistors and stuff down here that will prevent it from sliding out. So there we go. All right, so same process for the Wi-Fi card with the addition of two small antennas that you need to just pop up and off. So you can just dig those out with your fingernail. They will pop off of the little terminals and then remove the screw. And then same deal, we'll need to kind of work it back and forth until it comes out of the slot. All right, so it looks like we can go ahead and remove the fans and heat sink as well. It looks like they're partially obstructed by some kind of metal covers here, so we'll have to go ahead and remove the little silver covers on either side. Remove the uh, tape out of the way as well. And then a little connector here. Uh, it's just a simple kind of pop up type. So we're going to give it a good little wiggle and then it'll pop up off of that little terminal. Alright, so we'll go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. 
We'll just remove the screws that are holding on the little backing plate or cover or whatever they're using this for. And once you have that last screw out, just finish popping it up and off of the motherboard. All right, so it looks like our display cable's right here. They gave us a handy little tab to just pull straight up on. And that was the last wire coming out of the LCD assembly. So at this point, we can either finish removing the motherboard or we can separate the LCD assembly from the palm rest assembly. So with this, um, with this display assembly, it's, um, it's probably easier to replace it as a complete unit rather than trying to open it up and pull the LCD out. So we'll go ahead and do that first. Let's go ahead and uh, finish removing the screws on the hinges and then we can separate that LCD from the palm rest. So to start, we're going to want to open it up. And this one, it likes to be open about 90 degrees um, so that you can separate it. Looks like we have a little piece that's broken off of the palm rest. So that's another thing to check for. Um, sometimes these, if you if it feels weird when you're undoing a screw, it, a lot of the times it's because um, one of the little connectors is broken and this thing's pretty dented up. So I imagine that at some point that little piece got broken off of there. All right, so we'll go ahead and remove the four screws for the hinges. And the easiest way is to remove all of the screws except for one on each side. And then for the last two screws, you're gonna to wanna to put your hand underneath and just support the assembly as you remove the final two screws. That way it doesn't break anything when you're removing the last couple of screws. Okay, so now we can separate the two pieces and there is the LCD display. So once you have the, I guess that's the webcam cable and the video cable and those two Wi-Fi antennas disconnected, all you have to do is remove those hinge screws and then you can separate that display. All right, so back to the palm rest. Um, this particular model, it looks like, has integrated RAM. So underneath this little silver cover are your RAM chips. Does not look upgradable. So whatever RAM came with your Lenovo, that's what you're kind of stuck with, unless you want to replace the entire motherboard if they have a higher RAM version. So just keep that in mind that the RAM upgrade is not possible on this computer. All right, so we'll go ahead and remove the two cooling fans now. So it looks like with this type of connector, um, you just lift up, you flip up the little, uh, little uh, retainer there and that'll allow the ribbon to come out. I'm gonna finish removing the screws and remove the cooling fan. And then we'll repeat on this side. It's another flip up type connector. So just take your fingernail, flip up that little retainer. And then you can pull that ribbon free. And it's always a good idea to flip it back down so it doesn't get broken. And we'll remove the final screw. And then we can remove the last cooling fan. All right, so for the heat sink, um, it looks like there's uh, further four screws. Um, so if you want to re remove the heat sink, just remove the four screws. And when you're reinstalling, these numbers here that are stamped on the heat sink is the order that you're supposed to tighten them down. It's a cross hatch pattern to try to make sure that the uh, heat sink paste, the thermal paste, um, is kind of squished down evenly, doesn't squirt out one side. Uh, but on th in this case, we're gonna leave the heat sink in place on the motherboard, 
but if you do need to remove it, it's just four screws. So it looks like we're pretty much ready to remove this motherboard. So we're gonna go around and release any ribbons that are stuck to it. And most, most of these are that flip up type of retainer. So we're just gonna flip it up, remove the ribbon and flip it back down. And there are a couple small ones for the speakers. So with this type, it just pulls straight out, but you don't want to pull on the cable. You want to try to get a fingernail or something on the actual connector to pop it out. And sometimes you might need to use a fingernail and a small tool. Unfortunately, they didn't, Lenovo didn't provide any tabs or anything to try to pull that connector out. So um, you might just have to get creative. Sometimes a uh, thumbnail works a little better. Okay, so yeah, just use your fingernail, pop that thing out. We'll do one last check, make sure we got all the ribbons. Looks like we're good. And now we will go around and remove these screws. All right, finishing up, uh, looks like we have just a couple more on this end to remove. And then we can pull the motherboard free from the palm rest assembly. And to do this, I just want to kind of want to gently wiggle the motherboard out. Um, some of the ports actually stick through um, either side. So you want to lift up on whatever side seems like it's the most loose and then pull the motherboard from the um, opposite direction of those, as those ports that are kind of poking through there. So we're just going to kind of give it a few more wiggles and then we should be able to pull it free. Um, this one is a little bit interesting. It's not too bad on this side, but this side it looked like it was poking through a little bit more. So you definitely want to be mindful of which end that you pull up with um, to keep from, you know, stressing or breaking any of those ports. But we got it out and we have a free motherboard and as I stated earlier your RAM is going to be underneath this little cover but it's definitely not upgradable. So that's how you remove the motherboard. Alright so we're left with the uh, keyboard. It looks like Lenovo did leave this as a um, removable keyboard. So there's just a gaggle of small Phillips head screws. These look like a one millimeter. And then after you've removed all these screws, you should, you should be able to remove that keyboard, no problem. And same with the touchpad. There's just a few screws around the perimeter here, and then you can remove that touchpad. Speakers are just held on by rubber grommets. So those are no problem. So that is basically it for the palm rest and keyboard assembly. All right, so finishing up with the display, we're going to leave this particular one complete. Um, but if you want to uh, upgrade or uh, replace your LCD, um, like most computers, the bezel needs to be separated from the back cover. And on these particular, on this particular Lenovo, it's kind of a nightmare. So that's why we're leaving this one complete. The LCD is usually heavily adhered to the front bezel and the back cover, and it's only a few millimeters thick, so it's really easy to break the screen. So if you need to replace your LCD, definitely consider buying it as an assembly. Um, it will save you a lot of a headache and you know, most people don't have the proper tools anyways to try to separate these, you know, really thin spudgers, a heat gun, 
and a ton of patience. So that's pretty much it. That's how you disassemble a Lenovo IdeaPad 720S-13 IKB. If you liked the video or found it informative, please like and subscribe. Thank you.